Hi, Lake Grove. Today's Reservoir Devotional comes to us right in the middle of this series that we're doing, having a God-saturated life. On page 305, you'll find the prompts for today with that verse that so many of us know so well and that we have encountered over and over again throughout this study. It's Micah 6, 8. He has shown you, people, what is good. And what does God require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. These verses are so important to us. And isn't it beautiful when we can get a clear instruction? Oh Lord, what do you want of me? And then there can be a direct answer. I want you to live justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with me, your God. What we're being invited to do today is actually define what that looks like. I wonder if you think about your relationships, the ones in your life, whether they are close, intimate ones like spouses or good friends, even parents and children or siblings. There is a way that you two interact together, right? There's maybe an expectation of how you have things. What would you say if you were to think of those relationships, the ones that are close into you? What does it look like to live justly there? I'm giving you time to think about that. And as you're filling in your mind what you would think, how would you then expand that? What do you think it means like to live justly in the next layer of relationships that you have? Maybe that's in community member, church member and church. It gets a little interesting, doesn't it? As we get into wider and wider social networks, does it get harder to define? I don't know if justice gets harder for us to define a sense of having a rightness and equality, a goodness that the world is being set as it's, um, as it should be where God is saying every single person made created beautifully. And I want you to live in a society that honors and respects that and that you would live justly, rightly. In relationships, we have a you and a me. And then there's the third thing, which is the we, right? It's always public. I don't mean to make something more confusing than it is, but what I'm asking us to look at with, when we're asking the question, what does it mean to live justly? I think I'm inviting you to realize how deeply we are in a relationship with one another of living justly, when we may not have realized that we are, or we don't live like we are. I am <laughs> not surprised, and actually it's God's good humor, I think, that this devotional lands in our inboxes on the day that we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr., who was asking and saying, people of the US, I'm in a relationship with you as a black man in this society. How do we live justly together that everyone who is created equal, beautiful, God-breathed, image of God bearers, how do we live justly together? As we honor this man that tried to walk out what it would like be like in society to live justly together and held up a lot of mirrors of, does this look like justice to you? And we've had to ask, does this look like justice to us in our current times that we are living in? I appreciate the quote by Cornell West at the top of this devotional that says, I want to remind you that justice is what love looks like in public. Your close relationships where you love one another and you know it because you can feel it, it's like tangible to you. What would that look like in the next scale? That's an actual honest question for you to wrestle with. I think this gets difficult because we are in our culture, we are quite individual, aren't we? 
We make our own choices. We do our own things. We kind of set up rule systems. But what does it mean to be in this deep relationship? Because justice is a public thing, right? It's how we live in relationship to one another. I think maybe my invitation to all of us in this devotional is to look at that. How would that love look like? Do I see myself in relationship with society at large? How do I want that goodness, rightness, justice of God to look like when I'm an active part of it? I hope this hasn't been too muddy and that you can see the image we have of the me, the you, and a we. This is what we're trying to do together even as a culture Let's look at all the ways we can fill that love with as much goodness, grace, live it with one another. The Lord be with us all.